So I just recently rearranged the collection room because Soups was really big in the middle and very scary to move uh, to move around in the collection room. So I have to move him there, put him there. Uh, it's a good place. It's a good spot for him. It also gives a, a if you are in this angle, as you can see, it ha he has a very good angle of viewing and makes him look really good. Uh, so, but not uh, but. For that, I also have to give up one one-third scale piece, and um, but that's okay. I have to let it go anyway. So that is a complicated part of having a big collection like mine here. I I think I I don't even think this is the th that big yet because there's some collectors there that are having a really big collection. So, but either way, I have to learn what to keep and what not to keep and what to buy and what not to buy. So because of that one, I have five criterias on how I pick my collectibles. So to start with, with no particular order, number five is company. So you have to be careful which company or which seller or which commissioner you're getting it. I'm even, um, let's say particular also right now with the local um, distributors because sometimes they themselves also cannot get right away those, um, how I would say those pieces or the, your pre-order. So for example, like if you are buying in eBay, you have to be careful. This person is not a scammer or anything. The same thing or goes to commissioners. You have to be careful that this commissioner does not take away all those money because we all know that fan arts are very, very popular these days. They're very famous because everyone is just putting whatever they want and then making it. And this these commissioners are getting a lot of money. Um, so just do be careful. I know there's a lot of commissioners that are really great out there but try also to be careful for the scammers one because nowadays pop culture is a very growing trend right now so everyone is or a lot of people are trying to how I would say uh scam you and get a lot of money out of you so just be careful and for the licensed ones um i do still um how I would say uh check who's making this for example there's a uh a, a like a, a collectible that is Let's say Jason Momoa and Sideshow is making them. I'm not gonna buy that because Sideshow is not not really po popular with uh, how would say those kind of uh, those kind of stuff like the likeness of real people. But if there's a, a, a collectible that's how would say a, a lady like Red Sonia and those kind of stuff, uh, and it's made out from their concept, one of the best makers of lady collectibles or female collectibles. Is Sideshow their scope for ladies and paint are really top-notch so I'm getting that so that's the reason why I put company because it depends on the company um, or depends on the design uh, which company suits them so this is actually also the number four which is the design like I mentioned it depends on the company they have their uh, let's say uh, what they're known for what they're good at let's say for example uh, Queen Studios or Infinity Studios, they have a really good likeness with so the bust in their size is really good But for me right now, I'm also very particular on those kind of stuff because as you can see I have most uh, I have a very tight collection right now. I have no more space uh, That means the design itself has to be um, how I would say What I what what is easy for me to integrate the piece into my current collection. So for example, the space it, it takes up, I don't want pieces that have really big bases. I also don't want pieces that are having, um, I, not really I don't want, but I, I try to tend or I tend to stay away from pieces that are movie likeness because some every time I buy this movie likeness, every time I get it, I, I am always not satisfied. I guess I have a very high, um, let's say standard with regards to likeness like hot toys kind of likeness I really want that I hope it Queen Studios and Infinity Studios get that one um, Prime one is all the, also there but so far the best ones in terms of likeness is Infinity and Queen Studios and also I, I, I don't want those pieces that are so extravagant with with your bases and everything um i also do, i am also quite particular right now with just marvel and dc uh, i don't want the as much as possible i really prefer that not too many uh switch outs at least the head i can live with but like different torso different arms that's really complicated for me right now that's why the design for me is very um how would say important because again i don't have that much 
uh, space and I am basically keeping in a cer uh, keeping my collection in a certain scale which is the third criteria which is the scale so scale for me is very very important because I started with those small scales I guess 10 10 scale uh, 1 over 10 uh, and then I went to uh, 1 sixth and then 1 fourth and then I started collecting 1 fifth I get one thirds and then maquettes. So I think in my collection only the maquettes are are a bit weird in terms of size. Like for example the uh, the Galactus uh, and the Sentinel. Other than that, they're mostly one fourth and one third right now. So I'm not getting. If I'm going to get those small piece, uh, other smaller pieces, it will be those small ones. Uh, but. I won't be getting any more of those one fifth. I, I sold all my one fifth. I sold all of my one sixth scale uh, hot toys. Uh, I tried to focus in this just two scales. Um, so that's why if there are pieces, licenses, or fan arts that are out there and somehow like one one half I really wanted to buy a one half scale, even the bus. I'm very tempted with the bus. I try to I really really try to stay away from them because they're really that good from Infinity Studios and Queen Studios. They're really that good. Even the the Sideshow Hawk which a lot of people don't like. I really like that one as well. So I try to keep my collection as one fourth and uh, one one third. Um, just little those little ones I, I'm also buying from time to time just for fun. But other than that it's one fourth and one third. For one fourth and one third. So the last, the second to the last criteria is actually budget. And why budget? Um, to be honest, um, I am also having another hobby which is photography. And if th there's a lot of people asking me some advice on what camera to get, um, uh, if this camera is good, blah blah blah. I always tell them uh, the very first thing I ask is budget. Because again, hobbies, you, you always start with something small, something cheap, and then suddenly it goes up, up, and up. And when it goes up, it gets more expensive, even more bigger as well in terms of size. Uh, so that's why you have to have a budget. So the budget for me is mostly, again, because of the scales. Uh, with the scales, I have a certain budget of those. So you have to be careful. So most of the one fourth scale, so XM, I think they're selling like a thousand SGD, so around 750, I guess, uh, USD. Um, uh, but the, the XM ones are really good quality. They have a really good, um, let's say, shipping. Uh, the boxes are amazing. They, I guess they have the best boxes uh, and the quality of it as well is very good and they have normally the the big bases. I think recently they don't have that much big base but they have other switch outs um, and Sideshow most of the time they have something around like uh, 650, five, 600, 550 that range. Uh, sometimes it's a bit higher because some a bit complicated also pieces but nonetheless those are the budgets for the for me for the one fourth scale um, if it goes higher I, I will only get if it's a really something that I really like and for the one third scales a uh, thousand I guess uh, most of the time like prime one I only have prime one one third scale. I also actually have a pop culture one but it's almost the same price as the prime one uh, even a bit uh, even cheaper actually so I have a uh, street fighter um, Ryu and um, how would say Akuma uh, I really love those so again there, there's a certain uh, budget that I put there uh, I don't want to some also exceed because again I anyway I don't have in a space so I, I, t I try to tend uh, to let's say stick to that budget and uh, not to get too much unless they're really something that I like which which we go for number one so the last but not the least, uh, and again, this is not something that uh, it's ranked. My criteria is not something that's ranked, but it's something that you have to maneuver with. That means when you try to buy, or I try to buy, I try to balance them. Uh, and then the last one, and I guess at this point, uh, not all the time, all the five the five years that I'm collecting, I have this. Uh, but the this is right now one of the most important things that I always have to check is the character 
that I am buying or whatever piece that I am buying that I really like that there's a certain connection in me uh, because I don't have enough space as you can see so space is really a problem with me right now so if I buy something I have to make sure that there's a connection connection means I grew up with this um, character I grew up with this uh, let's say pop culture character and I really know the history I know what it is um, where I where I know this pieces so if you notice I have pieces like I I do not have any idea like um, Red Sonia. I have no idea with Red, Red Sonia, but she's so good before I have to get it. And even now I'm starting to like the character reading some comics because I am introduced from Sideshow, the Red Sonia, the Devil with the, uh, Devil with the Sword. That one is very phenomenal. So, uh, But right now, as of the moment, if this character does not or has no connection for me, normally I'm not going to get it even how much that piece is uh is good so but that's the problem now because there's a lot of characters that coming or a lot of pieces of the characters that i really know like prime one goku gi joe um those um also like the the witcher series that one is quite good the robotech prime one oh my god <laughs> I try not to look at Facebook so that at least I wouldn't see these new ones. Uh, but either way, I I really try to avoid the things or the characters that does not have a connection with me. Those are my five uh, criteria in getting a collectible. Uh, I, I hope you also have yours. Uh, if you don't have any budget you have so much money you can do whatever you want uh, it's just me because again i i'm i'm ordinary guy i have an ordinary room here and i have a very limited space so i have i need those criteria so if you have yours as well either two criteria three five ten twenty criteria do let me know uh, comment down below and if you like the video click the thumbs up and share with everyone and if you like weekly pop culture videos subscribe to my channel the ancient's place